you've been here a year now and you, you've had an opportunity to kind of get to know these players and get to know the squad. Do you feel like you're kind of ready to push on this season? Yes, I think um, everyone within the squad would realise as a good a job as Sass did last year and Anna did last year. Um, and Lucy and Sarah in terms of scoring goals from wider areas. We definitely needed like a focal point to play through um, and, and someone to take responsibility to score. So Sophie coming in is like a perfect example of that. It was an area we wanted to improve on. Probably more importantly, like getting the right people that's come in. So Sophie, like she's fitted in straight away as well. Hannah's come in like really late, but she's fitted into the group. Zoe Cohen as well. Um, it's fair in Sarah Walters, who trained with us last year but couldn't play. Like her experience and communication skills she's brought in is really like is really really well. And then Salon as well with coming up for the reserves. She wants to learn all the time and it's always asking questions. It's really bubbly. Really, a mix of all those personalities plus what we already have has been really pleasing to see. Can you tell us a little bit about how the move for Sophie came about? I kind of already knew from last year. Um like her playing at AFC playing in the league above. Someone else who got in contact, who was Sophie's friend, said that she was like potentially interested. So um, as soon as I found that out, it's, um, it was good. I, I don't think she'll mind me saying, there's probably three other clubs also interested to sign her. So um, I think with with Sophie, it was just about being honest about what I wanted. She was honest what she what she wanted to do. And I was honest in terms of Anyone that comes in as a nine is is under a little bit of pressure straight away because we need like that's one area we need to improve on last season, um, especially even uh, so if we played the year like the league above like we had bigger crowds as well so if, even then it was three hundred I think so um, yeah it's, it's a good signing. How pleased with so have you been so far? Yeah, massively. So I think not only with Soph but with all the people that have come in. They're all good people to work with. Um, they all want to learn. Like they've all sat in with a group. Um, it's quite a joyous group at some point. So like she's always in in, in and amongst the the other laughs and the jokes. And again, like they all know when and when to laugh and joke and when when it's time to to get in. So she's been a, a really positive group from performances, but also into the group as well. And in terms of players coming in, uh, Hannah joined just before the, the last lockdown. Unfortunately, we haven't seen a great deal of her yet. Can you tell us a little bit about her qualities? I know she brings a lot of experience to the team. Yeah, so again, so um, for Hannah's age, she's got like unbelievable experience. So she's um, like Guyanese international. She's played in step three. She's played for AFC as well. She played for Hounslow two seasons. Um, so two divisions up. Um, and again, it's just... Another variety we have within our midfield area. Um, she's probably a little bit more attacking than um, some of the other players we have. So it's another area that we, we wanted to improve upon. Um, and again, she's fitted in really, really well. Uh, again, Limit, she's played two games, I think, and just in a couple of, pre of, of friendlies in between. But she's trained really well. Like She's involved in like all of our, all the Zoom meetings. So again, she's a really nice person. And hopefully, we, when we come back, I think she'll have a good influence you mentioned uh, Salon Hickman coming into the group and we've also had uh, Stephanie Ellison, Jordan Williamson and Claudia Kovacs make appearances this season in the first team. Can you talk about that relationship with the reserves and sort of the transition from coming up? Yeah, so um, it's something that I'm pretty keen to try to do um, is if they're playing well for the reserves and if there's opportunities um, to come in and... I think we've been a little bit unlucky with injuries in terms of uh, we've probably had seven or eight injuries that have been out for a couple of couple of weeks minimum or, or longer. Um, so especially with the goalkeepers, so Kate was injured and then she was unavailable. Um, then we had uh, Marie that was injured for six like six seven weeks. She played the Hackney game, which she pulled a hamstrings, which she probably shouldn't have done. So that's a massive commitment from her. Um, so Claude has come in and. Massively impressive, like even for old old cliche, she just looks like a goalkeeper and she's like made a really good impact. Same as Jordan, same as Steph when Steph's come in, like they like Steph's definitely coming in train and Jordan's performed really well, but like out of position again through injuries and suspensions, she's had to play out of position. 
there's a couple other players as well that are through the reserves that hopefully will, 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 will get an opportunity to come and train um, that train with us as well on a Tuesday and depending on our availability of our of the other squad hopefully some more might get uh, possibilities to be involved in the squad as well.